Hello guys, in this video, we are going to upload a WordPress website from our localhost to a domain. And this is the easiest method to get your WordPress website into a live domain. I already made a WordPress website in my localhost. So we are going to upload that into a domain. So let's get into the video. Before that, please make sure to subscribe to this channel to get useful videos every week. This is the WordPress website we created in our localhost. Here you can see the website address starting with localhost. So we are going to make this website live into this domain ssmprocket.com. For that we have to open our WordPress directory in our local server. This is the WordPress files. So first we have to click view and tick this hidden items. So we have to copy the .htaccess files with this. Okay. After opening the files, if you can't see this .htaccess file, click view and tick the hidden items. And it will be visible here. And control A for select all. And click add to archive. Or you can send to compressed folder. Here you have to select zip and click OK. OK. Now you have to upload this zip folder into the domain. Open your cPanel and click File Manager. Go to your public underscore HTML folder and click Upload. I will make it bigger. Click upload and open that folder and drag and drop the file here. The file is uploaded and here we can't see the file right now. So click reload. So it will visible right now and right click and extract and extract files okay we have everything here now we can remove this uh, zip file we don't need that uh, now we have to go our localhost php my admin and find the database this is my database and click export and click go okay we got downloaded that database and now we have to create a database in our cPanel click mysql database wizard under the database section and name something here I am going to YouTube VP creating the same username and generating a password. I copy that password giving all privileges. So now we created our database and database user and assigned privileges to that. So now we have to modify our config file. Come back to file manager and find the wp-config.php and right click and edit. Here you can see the database name, database username and password. Here we have to paste our copied password and our database name and database username. Save it. Okay. Now come back to cPanel. Now find PHP my admin under database section. Here 
here we can see uh, the database we created click that so now we have to import our exported database in my case that is ytwp.sql you can simply drag this and drop here or you can click import and choose file choose file and select the sql file ytwp.sql and click go okay it's successfully imported so click structure and open the wp underscore options table here we can see the site url and home link to our local host so we have to change this to the domain smmprocket.com in your case you can add your domain name remove the ending backslash and change this to now both values are our new domain so just refresh the website and you will able to see the website is live in the new domain so this is the easiest method you can host your wordpress website into a domain hope you like this video if you like this video please give a like and subscribe to this channel to get more useful videos like this and we'll see you in the next one thank you